Hello all. Today I'd like to talk about trust in institutions. And I'd also like to talk about the Ferguson effect and the shameful way that some people in the United States are using this concept. The Ferguson effect is the idea that crime is rising across the country. And it's because police are now afraid to do their jobs and they've lost the trust of the African American communities. People are trying to blame this on the Black Lives Matter movement. They're using the idea as an excuse to tell BLM to shut up and go home. As I've noted elsewhere, it is way too early to say whether or not this is actually a thing. Also, the rise in crime, which is definitely happening in some cities, is a very, very small bump compared to the dramatic fall of the past 20 years. The number of Washington, D.C. murders is the example Donald Trump used in his speech last week, and it's the saddest example by far. Using a single figure in a single city as an example of national trends, though, is ridiculous. Almost 10% of the rise in Washington, D.C. in 2015 is accounted for by one horrific mass murder. Even in Washington, D.C., the historic trend is way down, as this graph shows. But you know what? It's too early to tell, but I actually wouldn't be all that surprised if there was something to the Ferguson effect. For the past two years, the country has been waking up to something that African Americans have known for years. Police are miserably failing to serve and protect our most vulnerable communities. Black Lives Matter activists have been relentless in bringing these issues to our attention. They should be thanked for that, not condemned. Trust in our country's police forces is falling because trust in our country's police forces should be falling. Blaming Black Lives Matter for this is insane. Since we're talking about Washington, D.C. and trust, why don't we talk about Watergate? In 1972, criminals working for the Nixon administration broke into the Democratic Party headquarters in the Watergate Hotel. That I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. The ensuing cover-up, scandal, and constitutional crisis eventually led to Nixon's resignation in 1974. This scandal destroyed trust in government. In 1972, Gallup reported that over 70% of U.S. individuals had a fair amount or a great deal of confidence in the U.S. government's ability to deal with foreign and domestic issues. With the exception of some tremendously misplaced confidence after the 9-11 attacks, that trust has never recovered. This lack of trust has led to the election of a succession of politicians who are more interested in destroying government than in working to make it better. In 2016, it may lead to the election of an outright thug and con man. Whose fault is this? Is this the fault of Woodward and Bernstein, the Washington Post reporters who brought Nixon's crimes to light? Of course not! It's the fault of Richard Nixon and the leaders and bureaucrats in the decades since who have failed to rebuild the country's trust in government. Woodward and Bernstein got an Oscar-winning movie made in their honor. Black Lives Matter gets crap like this. That under Donald Trump and under a Donald Trump administration, all lives matter! Oh. Mm. Watergate was not Woodward and Bernstein's fault. It was the government's fault. The tragedy of American policing is not Black Lives Matter's fault. It is the government's fault. If you can't see this, then you may have to re-examine a couple of your assumptions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, uh, please consider chipping into my crowdfunding thing at Patreon. Uh, you can find the link right here. Thanks.